When you first sign up for Microsoft 365 for your business, you'll get an email address and username that includes the onmicrosoft.com domain. To make your email address and username easier to remember and look more professional, you'll want to replace this temporary domain with your own custom business domain. As a quick note before we get started, we recommend that you make these changes outside of business hours to minimize the potential impact to you and your employees' email. With that in mind, let's get started. From the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, choose Set up email with a custom domain. Then select whether you want to buy a new domain or use one you already own. Next, you can review the upcoming steps and watch a helpful video about the process. When you're ready, continue. Enter your domain and move to the next step. Now you'll need to prove that you own the domain you're adding to Microsoft. You do this by adding a DNS record to your domain. To start, sign in at your domain's registrar. Depending on your registrar, that may be all you need to do as Microsoft adds the DNS record for you, but for most, you'll need to manually add the record. Navigate to where you add or edit DNS records. Choose to add a new record, and you'll see several fields that need to be filled in. The values for these fields are located back in Microsoft 365. Choose the type of record you're going to create, in this case a TXT record, copy the name value, and then go back to your registrar's website. Choose the TXT record type, then paste the value you just copied into the name field. Then copy and paste the TXT value from Microsoft 365. Finally, for the TTL field, choose Custom, then paste in the TTL value from Microsoft 365. Once you've added the record, go back to Microsoft 365 and verify you own the domain. It may take a little bit for Microsoft to detect your new record. Keep trying until your domain is detected. Now you can choose what your new email address and login will be. Once you do this, you'll need to sign out of your existing Microsoft 365 account that uses the onmicrosoft.com domain and sign back in again using your new email address with your existing password. After you've signed back in, you'll need to connect your domain to Microsoft 365 by creating some more DNS records. Specifically, you'll need to create an MX record, a CNAME record, and another TXT record. Like before, copy each value displayed in Microsoft 365 and paste the values into the associated fields for the MX, CNAME, and TXT records on your domain registrar's website. Back in Microsoft 365, finish connecting your email and you're done. You're all set up, but what about your employees? You can add them in just a couple steps. While in the Admin Center, choose to add a new user. Enter their name, username, and an existing email address of theirs so they can receive their new credentials to sign into Microsoft 365. If you've got more employees to add, just repeat the process for each one. And that's it. Now you and your employees are ready to start sending and receiving email using your new email addresses with your business domain. Thanks for watching.